This woman, whose name BOA is withholding to protect her identity, fled Darfur when fighting broke out in her hometown of Tindelti. She says men from the Janjaweed, an armed group of mostly Arab origin who victimised black Sudanese, entered her home where she and her sister were sheltering from fighting. She says the men raped her and her sister. Muna Malik is a gender equality activist from Darfur. She has been recording cases of rape in the region of Sudan since Sudan's civil war began on April 15th, triggering widespread intercommunal violence. The war involves two rival generals locked in a power struggle. Many civilians were killed, men, women and children alike. There were robberies of private and public properties. They even burnt buildings. Amongst all of this, some women and girls were raped. Malik says she has recorded 11 cases herself, but this is likely just the start. The UN has said it is gravely concerned about reports of sexual violence, including rape, against women during the Sudan conflict. Because most investigators and journalists have been unable to access Sudan since the conflict started, it's difficult to know the extent of the crimes. This is important because the UN differentiates between isolated cases of rape during wartime, which is punished in a domestic criminal context, and widespread systemic rape, which is considered a war crime under international law. This could mean leaders of any side that is engaged in systemic rape could be held accountable. Asked if there is evidence of systemic rape in Sudan, a UN official told VOA. So the verification of these cases, which is ongoing by the United Nations, will help to establish the patterns that exist. There's certainly the pattern of the cases being widespread, of them happening around the different conflict areas, be that in Khartoum or in Darfur. Although health workers in Sudan have already cited cases of rape and women caught up in the fighting have expressed fear on social media, a lack of social services for survivors and the stigma around coming forward could mean many cases are not being reported. The UN Population Fund's Deputy Representative for Chad, Elsie Kakam, said she recently met around 10 girls at a refugee site on the Chadian border. The adolescent girls pregnant in this group of newly arrived people. All of them are around 15 and 17. That was the average age I have. I wanted to understand if they were with their husband, but none of them could show me a husband, which means these girls were victim of something we may not identify for now, because people here will not easily come out. They went uh, uh, rape. The survivor, interviewed by VOA, says her sister, is now pregnant as a result of rape. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Kufrun, Chad.